Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And today we're going to take a look at kid-made modern colored pencils. Um, I was in Target the other day. These, these uh, pencils were there, so I picked them up just to try them out. Um, found out they were made in Vietnam. They come in a variety of sizes. This happens to be a 36-pack, but they also come in a, in a different container, and they're shorter pencils. About It's still 36 pencils, but about half the length of the pencils shown here. Um, and they come also in a five pack. So you can pick them up there or online at kidmademodern.com. Um, so what I, first of all, my initial impressions about these pencils are they're very well made. They're, I had no trouble sharpening them. There was no breakage. They're um, cedar casing. They've got uh, a little skinnier core. I think this is about like a 3.4 millimeter. Um, and they're hexagonal pencils or six-sided pencils, so they don't roll off your slanted work surface. But um, they feel good in the hand, and for kids, they'd be uh, extra great, too, since their fingers are a little smaller, a little easier to work with. Um, not a lot of information on the specific pencils themselves on the website or at Target, but um, I thought I'd try them out anyway. So what I'll do here today is just do a little sketching with the pencils and demonstrate how they... Uh, how the color lays down here. I'm just going to spread all the pencils out, um, take a few that I need, and then uh, draw this apple and maybe I'll add a lemon or something here. But uh, So what, what I'm doing here is just kind of shading in the edges with the pencils and um, they, they do pretty well. The other thing I like about these pencils is that there's a big you know, swath of color on the end of these pencils to kind of tell you what color it is, but also on the pencils themselves um, there's a color name given. Now, again, like uh, some, some pencil companies do this, some of the pencil color names are kind of nonsensical. Like for a darker green pencil, they call it forest. Um, it might just be helpful to call it dark green, and this is a suggestion I give to uh, pencil companies, but everybody's trying to be fancy and uh, you know sophisticated with their color names, but sometimes it, it just makes sense to put the name of the color down. Um, on, on the pencil itself. But, but nonetheless, they do try to add a name that denotes the color. So what the shading here is giving the illusion of kind of a 3D spherical object. So just adding some volume and, and blocking in this uh, color and then adding that shading just gives the object some volume. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, so overall, the, the shading was pretty good with these pencils. I, um, you know, try to work light to dark and then add that, that color in and maybe a little bit of uh, reflected light and things like that. But um, overall, these uh, pencils, it's hard to complain about these, especially given the inexpensive price of these pencils. Um, and right here, what I'm going to try to do is just lay down some of the um, individual's pencils, individual pencils I used um, to draw these objects. So... I'll start with these reds and then add some of this, uh, the yellows in as well. And um, like the, it goes down pr pretty easy and the color's pretty nice. It's, it's bright. I like it. And um, you know, again, for the cost of these pencils, this is probably a pretty good, pretty good value so far. Oh, Kid Made Modern, they, they make a lot of different um, <clears throat> inexpensive uh, art supplies for kids, um, including you know construction paper, um, knitting kits, comic book kits, um, felt kits. Kind of you can make frames or you know create and design your own uh, diary. Um, and then there's crayons and and brushes and stuff like that. And it's uh, it's just an entire line of products designed around like kids projects. So those are fun things um, that you can check out at uh, kidmademodern.com. Well, you saw some blending before, and, and, and these have really nice blendability. I like the the, uh, the ease of blending on these. And then um, what, what I'm doing now is just trying just to see how well they erase. And again, they perform well here. I mean, you don't get down to the to the raw white paper, but, you know, the, the erasability is good, and, and uh, I like it. So good coverage, smooth, even overall color, good blending, good erasability. I don't know the light fastness on these pencils because there isn't a lot of 
<clears throat> information on the individual technical specifications of these pencils on the Kid Made Modern website, but um, uh, that's something you can test by just adding the color to the paper and then setting it out for a while and, and seeing how quickly the colors fade or if, if they hold up well. But here's basically all the pencils that, that came in this um, in the tube. And, uh, you know, nothing fancy, nothing uh, over the top, but just really initial impressions are just really good serviceable pencils that you could use for kids' projects or sketching or you know, studio work. Um, again, these don't claim to be artist grade pencils, so that wasn't the expectation. These are just inexpensive pencils. I happened to pick them up and I think they do pretty well. They're on par with some of the, you know, studio grade pencils you can find by major uh, pencil manufacturers. So here's a quick look at, at some of the work I did testing these pencils. Well, leave a comment or a question and uh, hope you stop by the channel again. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for checking it out. This is Marty for OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Have a great day.